Hi, very warm welcome. Good afternoon, it's Gene from Mavstar. Today, I thought it was more overdue than anything else that we get another Earth Alpha at a glance in and have a look at some of the other anomalies that I know a lot of you that are uh, following us and have been following us for some time are, you know, just as concerned as, you know, our primary objection, which is to, you know, monitor as best we can the magnetic pole migration. Um, just want to say in a few days, time we'll be making another magnetic north pole positioning uh, for you uh, so you know it'd be great if you could uh, join us for that yeah getting back to um, you know some of the anomalies that we look at we would have loved to uh, here at the observatory done a lot more than what we do but you know I can't be disappointed with where we've managed to get and especially with the current climate um, you know the world it seems has faced you know a big economic downturn and you know there is for a lot of people right now a real genuine cost of living crisis and you know we know that people um, in many countries have had to tighten their, tighten their purse strings up you know in order to keep a roof over their head and their food on their table and we completely appreciate that um, but you know we've did our best to expand as much as we possibly could what we do so it wasn't just you know for those that were interested in the magnetic reversal you know uh, we'll go through it in just a very short time um, you know we cover quite a few things like co2 atmospheric oxygen um, how many volcanoes are in eruption and we try our very best to keep an up-to-date archive of that the reason being is because there are a lot of people um, on the internet that have websites similar to ours and also people on YouTube and other channels, social media channels that talk about these things but I think we are the only one that keeps an archive on our website of all the things that we've monitored at least for the last five years. That gives you the independence of going back into the archive and asking or answering that question are these things increasing or are they decreasing and you know with the figures that we give the data numbers like you know today 440 parts per million of co2 you can go back into each time we've collected the data and easily make an excel spreadsheet and chart it and the nice thing about charts is it shows you clearly what is the trend if it's going up towards the right hand side of the chart you know things are increasing if it's going down towards the left hand side of the chart sorry the right hand side of the chart things are decreasing and you get a very quick image of what is taking place so that you don't have to listen too many times to you know people exaggerating saying that there's more earthquakes now than there ever has been or more tornadoes now than there ever has been or the co2 is at runaway levels when you know it's all there ready for you guys to do it and that's really why we do the earth elf um, at a glance as well as the, you know monitoring the magnetic north pole we really do if you've got the time have a good website and there's quite a lot of stuff on there ranging from uh, the latest pole position which we'll be updating this one again in another few days when we do that um, you know as well as uh, live solar data widgets that we have on the website and we have live volcanic eruption maps which shows the ones in eruption across the world um, as well as a lot of other things so you know we encourage you to get over there and do that and once again if I can just thank those people that have been uh, by our side for the last 10 years doing YouTube now and at least five as an official observatory you know we're just very grateful for your support and help I will say before I get going that, you know, there does seem to be a technical problem arose with Kendall's um, yawn detector in that it showed, I think he said in his recent email, you know, 22,000 muons per square metre. So we'll be having a, or at least at 22,000 uh, counts. Um, so we'll be looking into that and if it is uh, necessary to bring it back over here to the UK to do a bit of maintenance work on it and get it back out there too and we'll do that so the muons per hour have remained at what um, 
he last sent us which were 714 per square meter per hour so i'm gonna not waste any more of your time i will before i do this just mention the links down there where you can help us if you want to get behind us and support us here with what we do and in turn you know you're supporting yourselves so the links are down there let's get on with it so atmospheric oxygen today was measured at 440 parts per million the atmospheric oxygen was 20.18 parts per million so slight decrease there slight increase on the co2 slight decrease on the oxygen but still a reservoir of our atmospheric oxygen of tw over 20 percent which is you know ample enough oxygen we're never going to run out of that uh, those are the latest uh, longitude and latitude coordinates of the magnetic north pole from the last time we've done it we'll be doing it again in a couple of days we got the radiation background count uh, slightly down from the last time at 0, 0.14 microsieverts. Uh, there are 35 um, volcanoes at the moment actively in eruption around the world. So the numbers have slightly gone up over the last 12 to 18 months on that. And there is just under the volcanoes in eruption, the latest largest earthquake within the last 24 hours. Uh, the muons per hour per square meter today at 551 and there are five sunspots currently on the disc at the moment so there's been a you know quite a dramatic drop since the last time we measured the sunspot numbers so they are dropping slightly uh, there is uh, no geomagnetic storm at the moment and the solar x-rays are normal and of course our jet streams are unsettled as you would expect with the inbound added cosmic radiation due to the weakened magnetosphere as a result of our planet going through a magnetic reversal. That's your latest Earth self at a glance or the latest anomalies. Guys, link down there in the description if you want to help support us and keep us going. It would be completely appreciated if that was something you wanted to do. And um, the only thing for me to say is join us in a couple of days when we you know, reveal the latest magnetic pole position for you. I'll say what I usually do. You take care of your loved ones, as always. Bye for now.